is a little demo of my uh, Google Pixel C tablet uh, with a keyboard. It has a magnetic connection here. You basically, it basically connects magnetically. And then you have a little tilt here where you can tilt it to the angle that you want. Um, <clears throat> I have it set up so that the Bluetooth keyboard is turned on. So if you look at uh, your Bluetooth connectivity, it's currently connected to my Pixel C keyboard and also my mouse. Uh, I had to find a Bluetooth mouse and I improvised. Took my uh, Apple Mac mouse, connected it via Bluetooth to, um, to the Pixel C. And I uh, got this funky little round cursor going on here. As you can see, I can click and drag. Um, I can also click on one of my folder groups here and then can go into any one of my apps. So um, let's just do that for a minute. Show productivity using an Android Pixel C as if it was a tablet. I go into my office folder, uh, open up my Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word comes up. Uh, I'll create a new document on this device blank document open it up uh, then I can start typing with my keyboard the keyboard's connected so is the mouse you don't typically have the X in the top right hand corner of the screen here so you can either go file close and if you want to shut down the whole application you go down here to the multi-window function that you have with Android, click on the X. Um, if you're in a folder or in an application, say we're in PowerPoint here, um, I create a new PowerPoint document on this device, create a blank presentation, opens up a presentation, um, and I want to go back to the main screen. You click the main screen here, as you normally would do. Um, so I can have my PowerPoint window open. Go back to my main screen. Open up a browser. Let's say I open up Chrome. Uh, I'm in Google. I can search on, say, uh, Facebook. Do a Facebook search click, uh, go back to my main screen, actually open up my Facebook application, uh, go back to the main screen, scroll over, open up one of my games, I haven't tried this before but let's just try Angry Birds, Angry Birds has opened up, <clears throat> going through the little multi-screen here I wonder if this will work with a mouse go into the episode and forward I wonder if this works with it does Look at that. Use the mouse to launch. Yeah, pretty cool. Now I can uh, go down here to this multifunction window, shut down my Angry Birds, switch over to Facebook, go to my multifunction window, go back to my office document. Um, I've just got this device, so I really haven't. Uh, got my pin from my work yet to set up my good email account but I you know let's assume that I had it I could open up my good get to my um, my email my work email in a separate application uh, shut that down go back to the main window I think you get the gist right so you know I can do a Google search here with my keyboard typing away 
um, you know, go into apps, basically any function that I normally would do as if I was touch screening, but I have a mouse here. I have the simplicity of the Android OS. Um, I've organized all my applications into multiple folders, so you know, I have all my apps for casting, my Explorer applications, my flight navigation apps, um, you know, as you saw here, a whole bunch of my, these are my main working apps here. I have my banking applications, all of the different type of browsers I like to use. Uh, Firefox, Chrome, Dolphin, because I can use that as if it was a desktop. Uh, Puffin and Photon browser for Flash. UC browser, which is a fairly quick browser. All the different utilities here. So I can basically muck around with this as if it was, yeah, uh, an Android PC. Uh, anything else? No. So that works pretty good. I mean, if I want to, um, if I want to go back to tablet mode, I just separate the tablet here. I can take the tablet with me. Uh, I can, as you see, it connects back. I can swivel it back, lie down on my recliner, play with it as if it was a touch screen. Uh, remove the Bluetooth capability come back, you know, disconnect the keyboard and then use it as a normal touch screen or revert back to my desktop mode. So pretty cool. I have a Bluetooth keyboard that's attached. Um, this was uh, the $499 tablet with a $125 developer discount. You can Google that. They're offering a developer discount of $125 until July 15. I think it was about $149 for the specific um, tablet and of course I reused my my iMac mouse uh, when you're finished you revert the camera back to the bottom of the keyboard clicks together it's got the cool little deal there and uh, just put it away in my portfolio case and uh, quite portable. Pull it out, <clears throat> open it up, set the keyboard down, camera's got to be top to connect, bring it back and uh, as you can see here I can even draw my pattern, of course I'm not going to draw my pattern here but I can even draw my pattern with uh, with a mouse if I want to. So fully functional little Android PC tablet mobile solution. Pretty cool. Okay, now I'm gonna hand over to the star John who's been trying to steal it all the time. So John. It's mine. Yeah, okay. You give me it or I'm having uh, Apple. Okay, you can have the Apple. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, good one. See you later everyone.